So is the market preparing for a 40% spike? Specifically, is Bitcoin preparing for a 40% spike? We're going to have a dialogue in this. and I'm going to show you some technical analysis that says that this is entirely possible. Okay. Didn't just make this up. All right. So need to set the stage here. All right. We've got a situation playing out where the market is above its $2 trillion market cap right there hovering. It's up. It's at, excuse me. It's down 1%. All right. And Bitcoin is at 41 nine, really 42,000, and Ethereum is at 3,000. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt, right, that Bitcoin and Ethereum drive the overall crypto market. If you add up these two uh, total market cap numbers uh, as they, and, and, and as they relate to the overall market cap of 2 trillion, Bitcoin and Ethereum make up about 70 plus percent, 70 percent of the entire market cap of the crypto market. Okay. And so, that's really the baseline, right? That's the stage. Now, let's jump in and talk about the thing that you really care about, which is the market going to possibly spike. So the fact that Bitcoin and Ethereum drag along or drive everything, so it's very important to look at technical indicators for Bitcoin in this scenario as a possible precursor to a run-up, because let's just call it what it is. If Bitcoin runs up 40%, Ethereum is going to go up as well, and the other major altcoins out there will go up as well, including possibly your favorite community coin and all those other th scenarios, because it will create an overly positive market sentiment. Okay, so here we go. So technical indicators do give bullish signals that previously, previously preceded a 40% spike. So what that basically means is, is that if you go back and look at time, there are there is technical indicators that are, are in play that are showing from a technical analysis that that, that, have, that have previously kind of how they played out showed a 40% spike. That's really what this is coming down. And we do look back a lot, right, for technical analysis and things of that nature, looking for trends and things like that. And here we go. Okay, so moving on right here. So Bitcoin's been moving upwards since January 24th, and it could be in the initial stages of establishing a fresh bullish structure. Okay. So since May of 2021, so basically two months, right? The $40,500 area has been crucial in determining the latest Bitcoin price trend. The area has acted as a resistance and uh, has acted as a support. Resistance means obviously when the price moved up to it, it would be resisted and pushed back. Okay, and it's also acted as a, as a level of support. Okay, here we go. However, since the breakdown that occurred on January 21, the area has not acted as a resistance or support as Bitcoin has moved above and below it several times. So what all they're really saying is that is that we've had that, yes, we just we just said we've had, we've established it, but we've also moved above and below it. Just again, price action. Volatility. We've had a tremendous amount of volatility, right? We've had the Russia-Ukraine war, Federal Reserve, what are they gonna do, not do? Um, you know, hyperinflation going into into play, uh, a lot of fear and greed. And remember, I talk about this. This is a big one. The fear and greed right now is at 31. A lot of fear in the market, in the overall crypto market. Okay, now I'm back to our regularly scheduled program, but you get my point. So nevertheless, the fact that the price is trading above this region can now be seen or is seen as a bullish sign. This is the $40,500 level we're talking about. So here's some... Here's some Real quickly, some some things to think about at, from a TA's technical analysis standpoint that that point to a possible forty percent, possibly. Hey, let's cut, let's call it is. Let's cut it in half. Twenty percent would be awesome. Bitcoin to go up twenty percent, awesome. Twenty percent from where we're at right now with Bitcoin would put a square in the knocking on the door of fifty thousand from a price action standpoint. If we got to fifty thousand, twenty percent for for Bitcoin we're off and running in my opinion okay so again these are technical analysis indicators daily chart provides a mostly bullish outlook okay it, it, um, bitcoin has been following an ascending support line since january 24th so far it has been validated four times and technical indicators are bullish bullet one yeah bullet two macd which is which have, which is created by short and long term moving averages is increasing and has crossed into positive territory third big third positive point there right RSI 
which is a which is a momentum indicator, is also increasing and is above 50. Both of these readings are considered signs of bullish trends. Fourth validation point, if you will. Previous time, here we go. The previous time these signals occurred together was in October of 2021 before a spike with a magnitude of 41.6% transpired. Therefore, it is possible that a similar upward move will occur this time around. Looking back, right? October was insane. October was amazing. Was amazing. I'm really hitting that for a dramatic effect. That was kind of funny. It was amazing. It was. And so think about that, right? All right, wrapping up. Here's the thing. A 20% move up would basically get us to 50,000. Do you believe it or not? Do you believe those technical indicator points that we just talked about or not? I would tend to believe them because if you're looking at historical indicators for uh, Bitcoin and crypto, usually there is definitely something to it. Now, um, it, again, 40%, maybe, maybe not. 20%, I will take that all darn day and I will be excited about that all day. Okay, And that's what I'm going to leave you with. So yeah, are we are we are we poised for a forty plus percent move up? Hey, maybe not, but a twenty percent would be darn good as well. As always, appreciate you. I'll see you.